I just wanted to show you what all we, we hope to accomplish today from this fence post, the corner of my original property. Uh, oh, 60, 70 feet this away. And then uh, all the way over here to that tree there, which is, I got my chainsaw, that's coming down. Uh, this is probably coming down here. I don't know how much I'm gonna get done today because boy, it's already hot and it's like, I don't know, 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning. Oh yeah, and that and the machete, and you, there's just nothing you can't do. Hey y'all, this is the Gerber Gator Bolo. I just want to show you how good this thing works. Aren't these oak trees, hon? These little things that I'm fixing to cut? Uh, Those yeah. Those are oak trees, right? Yeah, don't cut the live oak. Well, I'm gonna, because it's right on the fence line. I don't want it to grow up in the fence line. Great it's about an inch and a quarter thick. One whack. It's about an inch and three quarters thick. Well, so much for the lilo. That is an amazing tool right there. Okay, take a break. You're out okay. of air. Time for air. Really good. You see him down in there? Uh, let me turn the light on. Yeah. <laughs> you can't see if he jumps on you. Uh, if he jumps on me, I'm going to bowl you over. I'll be in the next <laughs> town. That's a, what do you call that? A funnel spider, huh? Uh, some kind of funnel bite your butt off some kind of yeah. I'm gonna get my torch teach him a lesson. <laughs> Jeez. Look out. <laughs> the big one. Yeah yes. Well I, I got the Tramontina bolo in. And uh Rob Moffat did a video and he's right the the grip is really small. As a matter of fact, what I plan on doing is uh, knocking about a quarter inch off of this end and this end just to make it a little wider. And uh, this one, this is the Gerber Gator Bolo, and I finally did it. I uh, curled the end over, but I'll tell you what, I was cutting stuff up against a chain link fence. And uh, I hit the chain link fence a couple of dozen times, so I am not unhappy with this at all. Uh, turn that light on. I can uh, I can touch that up on the stone here, and be back to work with it tomorrow. Still, uh, still very, very happy with this. Uh, I've learned a few things about machetes. This is not good for everything. Uh, it's good for most of what I'm doing, but now I'm into thin, thin vines, and there's thousands of them. And uh, you have to swing this so hard in order to cut the vines that you just about lose control of it because it's so heavy. I'm beginning to understand why uh, a thin cheap hold on sorry about that you know this is a uh, it doesn't even say China on it it's so cheap it, you know it's cheap when they can't afford to print the Chinese name on it uh, this was a hardware store special for like I don't know eight or nine bucks and I, I didn't know there was that big a difference in 
machetes, but I understand why a thin, light one would work better in some situations. And, I, and I'm in that one of those situations now, where uh, the vines, when you come at them, they're so thin that instead of cutting, they move. Uh, so you have to swing super, super fast. And when you swing that fast with this, being as heavy as it is, uh, it's really hard to control it. And it's actually pretty dangerous. So I understand now where, where this would actually work better than that. Uh, I've got the Tramontina. I'm going to try that tomorrow for them vines. I just put an edge on it. Uh, one other thing, this you have to wear gloves with because the uh, slightest little bit of sweat on your hand and this will slip right out of your hands. That is the one, the one con, the one negative I could say about this is the, the handle for as heavy as this blade is, is not big enough and uh, not grippy enough. You absolutely have to wear gloves because... Uh, you know, I sweat like a horse when I'm working outside and uh, my hands get just soaking wet and it, it's just impossible, especially when you're swinging this really hard. So uh, I could do it. couldn't do it without gloves. I tried to a few times just because I didn't happen to have my gloves on at that time that I was going to use the machete. Anyway, this is probably way more than you wanted to know about machetes, but I have two more coming, a uh, cold steel and a marbles, and they're both going to look... You know, roughly like that. It's the bolo style. Uh, I am convinced that the bolo style for what I'm doing uh, is the best because it has extra weight at the end where you really need it. This, I'll try this tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to put an edge on this on a stone here and uh, try it tomorrow. Oh, what a day. Let me tell you a quick story. Uh, my heart has finally stopped pounding. I just got ripped off a hundred bucks. And uh, what I really wanted to do is turn around, go back to the bank, pull that teller over the counter, and beat the ever-loving crap out of him. Uh, I sold a lawnmower, and I took $100 bills to the bank, and I swapped them out for 20s because I don't like having hundreds. So uh, I counted the money out, gave me 20s, uh, and then his hands disappeared for a second. I assumed he was getting the envelope to put it in. And, uh, and then he hands me the envelope, all sealed up, nice and neat. I stick it in my pocket. I go to town, do my business, come back home. And uh, come back here to my man cave to put my cash in the safe. And uh, I get it out of the envelope. And there's $100 shy. So I called the bank. I spoke to the main branch. I spoke to the bank manager. And he put me on hold and he called the teller. To, I, don't, I didn't know he was calling the teller. He put me on hold. And when he picks up, he goes, Well, sir, I called the teller and uh, his till is balancing out. And I said, Well, of course his till is balancing out. If I gave him X amount of dollars and he kept 100, uh, that cash went in his pocket. It didn't go in the till. This has never happened to me before, and I even had my wife count the money because I thought, well, maybe I'm crazy and I can't count. And sure enough, it was exactly $100 short. So uh, they're going to review the uh, security footage, the film footage, and uh, I'm probably going to get screwed. You know what happens. I mean, it's 100 bucks. It's not the end of the world, but when you don't have a lot, 100 bucks is a lot. So anyway... I'm pretty bummed out about that. It's, uh, there's nothing I can do. You can't fight big business. You can't fight City Hall, like they say. All right, thanks for watching, y'all. <clears throat> I've uh, been working over on the property this morning, and this is just uh, just uh, about 10 feet of the garbage I've had to pick up. I've only made it 10 feet or so because of all the vines, but uh, I got probably 10 more bucketfuls of this to pick up. 
Nice. Oh yeah, two frying pans. I have no idea why they threw frying pans out there, but they're there.